for a bunch of land mammals, we humans sure love swimming. Even though we can't breathe underwater, and we can't swim for long without getting tired. But lucky for us, our knowledge of physics and forces can be a big help in the pool. Hi, I'm David. I'm a swim coach here at the University of Queensland. Let's take a closer look at the physics of swimming with the help of one of our athletes. There are four main forces that act on the swimmer in the water. Gravitational force, which pulls down. Buoyancy force, which pushes up. Thrust force, pushing the swimmer forward. And drag force, holding the swimmer back. So gravity, it's a pretty simple one. It's the constant force pulling on the swimmer's body. So why don't they sink? It's all thanks to buoyancy. Buoyancy is an upward force that acts on any object in the water, including us. This force is equal to the weight of water displaced by the swimmer's body. So buoyancy cancels out the force of gravity and we float. Especially when our bodies are spread flat, creating more surface area. So staying afloat's a pretty good start. But what about actually physically moving through the water? That's where thrust comes in. For a swimmer, getting the fastest lap time is all about maximising their thrust force and minimising their drag force acting on their body. A good example of thrust is when a swimmer pushes off from the wall, propelling them through the water. What happens next is best summed up by Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, the swimmer shoots forward through the water with a force that's equal to the force made by their legs pushing back against the wall. The same law applies in arm strokes. Pulling their arms back through the water pushes them forward. The longer the arm stroke, the more force the swimmer creates and the further they'll go with each stroke. All of this thrust force is needed to combat the force of drag and for a pro swimmer, Drag force really is a drag. Drag comes in three forms. Pressure drag from the swimmer pushing water out of their way. Friction drag from water molecules colliding against their body. And wave drag from all the surface waves a swimmer creates powering through the water. You can feel these drag forces just by pushing your hand through the water. But elite swimmers have some tricks to help overcome drag like shaving off all the fine hairs on their arms, legs and face. Even tiny hairs create some friction between the water and the swimmer's body. So shaving them off can shave fractions off a time. Sleek swimsuits can also reduce drag, but the best method is getting stronger to maximise your thrust. So now you know more about physics in the pool, you can cruise through the water like a true swimming champ. <laughs>